Hey guys, it's the doc, and here is our next question in the hashtag Ask Dr. Bud Gill series of posts. And this one comes in from Nikki underscore Adams5, once again from TikTok. Uh, the question is, how do you tell the difference between tissue, fat, and the actual cyst? That's a really, really good question. Um, so, if the cyst is completely intact, um, and you can see the entire cyst wall, it's actually really easy to do that. You just basically kind of dissect the cyst wall out, um, and then you just extract the cyst. So usually on the scalp, that's the case, you know, where it's a pilar cyst or something called a trichelemal cyst, which are very compact cysts with thick walls, and they essentially just like pop out. And really you don't have to do much fishing around or digging around. But on other parts of the body, um, what are called sebaceous cysts, which is actually a terrible name, but infundibular cysts, sebaceous cysts, that's what they're, they're colloquially known as, those cysts have a thinner wall and soft contents inside. So frequently those cysts either rupture at some point or they are very, very difficult to extract in one piece. So essentially you just have to dissect the cyst out. And really what I'm looking for when I'm doing the surgery is the cyst wall, it has a very unique appearance. It's, it's almost like a white shiny type of material that the cyst wall is made of. And I'm really kind of like dissect that out. So sometimes you actually have to cut out some normal skin or some subcutaneous fat to extract the cyst wall. The goal when you're removing a cyst is to try to make sure you get the entire wall out because if a little bit of it remains inside the skin, sometimes that's unavoidable, but that can lead to a recurrence. The cyst can reform. So when you'll see me kind of dissecting the skin out and you know, kind of snipping pieces of tissue out, the goal of that is really to extract any remnant cyst wall that may, may be remaining in the skin, just to really just to prevent a recurrence. So um, I hope that answers your question. Uh, and um, that's it, let's get it.